This is the recording from today's class. We started with the types of carbons and from methane that has only hydrogens, we have primary carbons that are attached to one more carbon, a secondary carbons that are attached to two carbons, tertiary carbons that are attached to three more carbons, and then quaternary carbons that are surrounded by four more carbons. Then we went to alkyl groups, and alkyl groups are hydrocarbons that have lost one hydrogen to become branches. And we have methyl, ethyl, propyl, and so on. Then we went to the alkyl groups. I will go faster here. The alkyl groups with common names. We have two that come from propyl, then we have four that come from butyl, and we have three that come from pentyl. In white, we have the UPAC name, in colors, the common names. How are these uh, alkyl groups formed? I am going to go back. This is from propyl, from propane, Propane can uh, lose a hydrogen from a primary carbon to become propyl or from the carbon in the middle and it will be named isopropyl. This is an isomer of propyl. Then we have the alkyl groups from butane. If we have the straight butane, we have two possibilities, losing the hydrogen from the primary carbon to make butyl or from a secondary carbon to make sec butyl. And we also have an isomer of butane that is isobutane and it can also lose the hydrogen from a primary to make isobutyl or from the tertiary to make third butyl. And finally we have the three alkyl groups with common name from pentane and we have three hydrocarbons pentane, isopentane and neopentane with the corresponding alkyl groups and as you will see here in the three cases the free bond is in a primary carbon so we get to this I hope this will help you with understanding the common names and you need to learn to name this with the common name and with the UPAC name. Bye-bye.